All right, I'm just about to go out to uh, get my garbage cans, and usually when I go out to get my garbage cans, there's gang stalking. Now, you might have been asking yourself, why is it that I haven't been um, putting a lot of gang stalking video the last few days on my website, on Facebook? And the answer is that I've been working on my website, uh, theamericanreformmovement.com, and so I've been neglecting Facebook. But yesterday, especially, was an awful lot of gang stalking. Now, you might say, well, why so much in one day. Well, that's the day when I finished my website. You see, our government tries to control and manipulate people. They're operating from a behavioral framework. Remember B.F. Skinner? Well, they're way back in the B.F. Skinner days. So when I finished my website, they had to show me that there are consequences for, you know, opposing our government. And so they yesterday was a big gang stalking day. Um, so the bottom line is they're not systems thinkers. In other words, they don't know how to really create progress. They don't know um, how to make decisions that are rational. So what they're involved in is emotion. Their, emo their, um, their decisions are based on emotion. Uh, that's why I speak about um, regressive uh, tendencies in our society because it's emotion driven. Uh, so what they want to do is control and dominate and they use fear and um, they use emotional fusion by getting lots of people to uh, get on their side. That's called triangling. So we can understand them from a systems perspective and we can understand how to create change in the United States government, how to reform it in a systems perspective. But you have to understand that they're using behaviorism. They're back in the B.F. Skinner days and and that's why yesterday they had to have so much gang stalking as a consequence for my putting out my website. That's what they do. I kind of think of it as ants. You know when uh, you know you have a lot of ants, you put um, food down. You put like a, a trap down. And what happens is that when you first put the trap down, you get a lot of ants because they think it's food and then they die off. And so that's the same thing with uh, gang stalking. Like after you do something dramatic, like put out a new website, I get an awful lot of gang stalking. It's kind of like the ants coming to the trap. Um, then eventually it goes back to normal. All right, now let's go out and see who's out there today. Because, and I think I'm going to grab my keys because I always take my keys on the glass. All right, here I go. Remember, when I go outside, they usually have a gang stalker coming out or going into their house or driving up or passing in front of my house. Uh, that's called same time exit entry. person coming out of her house just as I'm coming out of my house. Now I'd like to make clear in no way am I saying that these people, my next door neighbors, are gang stalkers. I'm just showing you what I see as I go to get my garbage can. Now, the reason I take my camera is to say, in the eight years I've been a gang stalking target, I have seen these patterns repeatedly because gang stalking follows a pattern. It's called same time exit entry. I come out of my house and a gang stalker comes out of their house. Now, we know that one of the things our government is doing in gang stalking is getting neighbors to gang stalk. And the reason they do that is they want to socially isolate the target. In other words, look what they're doing to Russia. They're trying to socially isolate Russia. They're trying to isolate Russia. So this is what a government does when its whole thinking is based on controlling, manipulating. In other words, these are linear thinkers. They divide the world into good and bad. And they, of course, are the good ones, and everybody uh, they don't like is the bad ones. Oh, here's my other neighbor. So I've got neighbors on both sides of me who just happen to be coming out at the exact same time. So they divide the world into good and bad, and they use behaviorism, 
which is consequences. This is the thinking of B.F. Skinner. This is how backward our government is to try to control behavior.